your vote at risk, the independent state legislature theory explained. So even though elections for Congress and the president are federal, state lawmakers currently set most of the important details, like how voters register and what times polls open and close. But too many state lawmakers abuse that authority. They manipulate districts to keep their party in power. That's called gerrymandering. Or they make it harder for people who oppose them to register and vote. That's voter suppression. And lately, Congress has been too gridlocked to stop them. So who protects your right to vote? Well, for more than 200 years, governors, state judges, and state constitutions have played a critical role. When state legislatures tried to grab too much power, governors vetoed them, state courts struck them down, and state constitutions set important boundaries. These are the checks and balances that protect your vote. But these guys are asking the Supreme Court to abandon that history to eliminate checks on their power so they have nearly absolute control over elections. If they win, lawmakers in your state could eliminate voting by mail, early voting, and automatic voter registration. They could set up endless barriers to prevent you from voting. And they could gerrymander you, making your vote meaningless, all to keep their party in power. And there would be nothing you could do about it. This is what the independent state legislature theory is all about. It's an attack on our system of checks and balances, and it would create chaos in our elections. Our democracy works best when power is shared, not abused.